The interlaced femtosecond laser has already been used to create the corneal channels for the intact interstromal segments. Small air bubbles in the cornea can be seen at the 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock positions in this view. A Y spatula is being used to widen and open the beginnings of the two uh, segment insertion areas. A, f a deep corneal incision was also made by the femtosecond laser at 9 o'clock in this view. Here a 450 micron intact segment is being placed in the inferior aspect of the cornea. The lamellar dissection with the femtosecond laser is done at approximately 65 to 75 percent depth. It's often tricky to get the intact segment all the way in because you're pushing it around a circle. Here it's almost all the way. Sometimes a second instrument is used to push the end down. The near end is then pushed in a little bit further so it doesn't sit right next to the wound. Now the superior intact segment is being placed. Again, it's a little trickier to get the second one in compared to the first one because there's already kind of space being taken up by the first intact segment. Here it's being pushed deep into the wound, and then once the channel is found, it can then be ideally gently, but sometimes somewhat forcefully rotated into its channel. Here it's moving nicely into the channel, and a second instrument is again being used to just give a little bit of pressure to kind of move it around the um, semicircular stromal incision that was made by the femtosecond laser. There, the intact is popping into the wound, and then it'll be pushed in a little bit further so that it doesn't sit right next to the incision. Next, one suture is placed into the um, incision area to close that wound. It is tied, and then the knot is buried. I attempt to tie these knots fairly tightly so that the wound does not open up after surgery. These sutures are then usually removed about six weeks post-op. At the end of surgery, the intacts look beautiful. Here is a post-operative day one photograph, nicely centered, well-placed intacts.